Welcome to my Christmas art show. As I said, I do art shows every Thursday. So tonight it's all to do with Christmas. I'm doing Chris two Christmas gift ideas. Um, I was going to do the Christmas decoration for the tree, but I'm going to leave that till next week. So yeah. So tonight's Christmas um, gift idea is to do with a frame, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So yeah, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jennifer McBride. I do shows on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. I don't do shows on Sundays. If you're new to my channel, hi, I have three guinea pigs and a cat. Mia, Sylvia, Teddy, and Lucy. So yeah, so um, yeah, if you do do these um, gift ideas, please take some photos, send them on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram so I can give you a shout out on those pages. So yeah, so on with the Christmas art show. Tonight, I'm just having my hair down. I was going to wear a Christmas shirt, but my shirt is actually drying in the laundry. So I thought, it's okay, at least I can um, wear a Christmas hat. So I bought a Christmas hat today, and I'll just put a Christmas butterfly on my hat, just for some decoration. Just wearing some light pink lip gloss I got for my birthday, and I'm just having my hair down, and I've just put some makeup on, just to film for tonight. So yeah. So to make this Christmas frame, you'll definitely need is a frame, Christmas stickers, which you can buy from bargain stores, which I did today. And these are really cool Christmas um, decorations you can use too. Um, and you need a pair of scissors. And you need some Christmas paper. So that's all you need for the first Christmas Christmas gift idea. For the second Christmas Christmas gift idea, you need green crystals, gold crystals, and a jar, which I'll tell you guys what why you need all this. And you can decorate the jar as well, so you might need some stickers, or I'll show you how to do that. And um, yeah, so there's the two gift ideas that you can do for your family your siblings, your brother, your sister, and they're just really cool and you can wrap them up and give them to them. I'm actually making this one for um, one of my family members and I'm definitely going to be making this for my sister Angela. I'm going to make her a Christmas frame. I thought it would be really cool and she could put it in her house. You can use it for years to come. Every single Christmas you can put it out use it you can actually hang it up so it's got a little hanging hook in the back so that's a good thing about the frame and um yeah so let's get on with the show so first thing is first i don't like this part but sometimes you have to do it is you're going to open the plastic so what i normally use is you can use a pair of scissors it is up to you i have some keys <laughs> i can put my keys in here Alright, I've done it. Okay. And then you just pull off the plastic. Like that. Then you have a beautiful clear frame, which is not going to be clear for that long. And then you open, this is the part I don't like. I'm going to use keys this time. See if this works with keys. So I haven't been well, I've been feeling really sick and I haven't been feeling well today, but I did promise you that I would do a show for you guys. So I went and bought the stuff today so I can do it tonight for you guys. Um, I've had a very sore stomach and my side's been really sore and I haven't been feeling great at all. Um, but yeah. I'm actually breaking my nails. I'm gonna do my nails tomorrow anyway. Uh. 
Sorry guys, I have to go and get a band-aid. I just cut myself. Okay, great idea. Um done that before. Hmm. Oh, so it's all plastic underneath. Okay. Right. Plastic. Nice plastic. Nice. Okay. So the first thing is first, there's some stickers, but the third, the, the thing you need is Christmas paper. Um, you don't have to use the whole lot if you don't want to, but I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to. Yeah. So grab your Christmas paper and just cut. Like that. And then you just cut off the corners. Like that. Very easy. Then that is basically what you need, and you turn it around so everyone can see what's happening. And then you fold, actually fold that, and then you fold that, and then you cut off the parts you fold. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so there's the paper and you basically put that in, but we don't need to put that in just yet. So we turn the paper around and we're gonna decorate the paper first. So what you need is some Christmas stickers. So you can open them up. Um, and then pull them out. And then stick them wherever you want to stick them on the piece of paper. Looks so cool. And there's like these white ones too. And I'm gonna grab this one. My finger is so sore. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab that one and then pop that in the middle. Then you grab some more <laughs> stickers. The next one is the star. And 
And then you grab the bill. Actually, no, it's not that. Okay. Then you grab a little bill. Then you grab some tape. And you measure what you want to measure, basically. You grab your scissors and you cut off the excess tape off. Fold the tape in half. Do the same to the other side of the frame. That's done. Then you've got some leftover tape, so you can use the leftover if you want. But it's not really much, so there's no point using it. Okay, now the other part is in these really cute decor decorations. So you need sticky tape to stick these on, I think. I don't know, I've never bought these before. Um, so bear with me. Oh, no, you don't. They are basically stickers. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, then you stick these on. Why is my phone? Okay. <laughs> stick these on. Wherever you want to stick them, I'm just putting them in good places, of course. I need to use these for all of them. But I'm going to use some of them for the decor for the, for the frame as well. So. Ah, my hands. My hands. on here as well. Oops, not my hand. <laughs> and then I'll just need some tape to stick to make this part that has a little rip. Maybe from oh my goodness. And then I'm going to use two of them on the frame later. So then I'm going to grab these little cool little stickers and just stick them wherever you want to stick them. And then you can grab some more of these, which I am. I need a snowflake. So I'm going to grab a snowflake and I'm going to basically pop that. Then I'm going to grab another snowflake. I think these are snowflakes, guys. I don't know, but they look a bit like snowflakes. They're just that color. So they probably are. And then I'm going to grab the bell with the love heart um, with a bow. I think that is so, so cute. So I'm going to grab that one as well that on the frame. The bow, the bow with the bow, I'll call it the bow with the bow. Mm, spot. 
And then I'm going to grab some of these really cool designs. They're just like little, they look like a letter F, but they're not really. They're just really cool designs. And then there's another one I need to grab. I'm going to put that one on the frame as well. Really looks like an F, but it's not really. An, it's not really my initials. But yeah, okay. Sometimes I pay attention, and sometimes I don't. Okay, so that's everything on there I want. And then you turn that around. You grab some sticky tape and stick it to the frame. Okay, then you grab the box, well, the cardboard you need. And then you basically pop it all together. You know, that's what I mean. How cool does that look? All right. Then you turn over the frame to decorate it, basically. Okay. So then you can, I'm going to grab is some really cool tape. I won't be a sec. Instead of tape guys, I'm going to be using some of these blue um, ones I used for my art sheet last week and just take the sticker backs off them and I'm going to put it onto the frame. So I'm just putting it around the frame, basically. Like that. Looks really cool. You can put them anywhere, really, wherever you like. I'm just putting them around the frame for some decoration, basically, and make it really look cool. Um, that's what I'm doing. This frame is so Christmassy, guys. It's getting so Christmassy. 
It's not funny. So I'm loving it. Okay, so that side's done. Now I'm just gonna put a few stickers on the side. <laughs> Sorry, this day for wow, forever. In there. One at the top. Put that one down there. down there. That looks so cool so far. Looks so cool. All right. To finish it, let's finish it, shall we? Okay. So to finish it, I'm going to use one of these. So I'm going to grab this one. And I'm just going to pop that Mitchell, don't do that, darling. Okay, so now we grab some blue. So we've got the second project to do next, the second um, Christmas gift idea. The second one's actually more easier than this one. This one was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this one, besides the stickers. And besides cutting my finger, but yeah. So that's basically the end of making the Christmas gift idea frame. If you guys do do this, take some photos, send them on my Twitter account. Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook, so I can give you a shout out on my accounts. So yeah, so there's the frame, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I mentioned, this is a gift idea, so you can give it to one of your sisters, your brother, um, your siblings, your mum, your dad, and they could hang this up for Christmas this year or next year. If you give it to them early, you can hang it up this year. If you give it to them for Christmas, then they can hang it up next year or whenever they want to hang it up. In Christmas time so yeah so I'm gonna wrap this up for my sister and not now but I'm gonna wrap it up tonight and put it under the tree for my sister and give it to her for Christmas so yeah so that is one done one more to go okay so this one as I mentioned is more easier than the first one so with this one all you need is a jar you need definitely need some stickers and some glitter stickers 
you need some glitter and some green crystals as well so basically you don't need water um, you can use water if you like I normally use water with all my things um, but it is up to you I'm not going to use water so what you need is some green crystals first but before you do that it's always good to decorate your jar first and why is that because if you fill it up with water it's very difficult to decorate your jar and especially if you if you want to use spray paint or you want to paint your jar or you know whatever it's always good to decorate your jar first i always do that now because before when i bought jars um, I used to put water and stuff in it and then I want to decorate the jar it was just too hard to do it so I do recommend you guys to decorate your jar first and then fill it up with your color stones or whatever so yeah so this is another gift idea as I mentioned if you want to give it to your family now you guys can if you don't you can just wrap it up but remember to buy some crystals and wrap it up with the jar so um, it goes with the jar and then you can tell them what to do when they get this as a Christmas gift. This you can use it all the time you can even use it for Christmas, Easter, you can basically tip the crystals out if you don't use water and you can actually keep them for a very long time. If you decorate the jar Christmassy, it's okay. You can still use the jar for any other day, basically. Um, I'm just decorating this jar for Christmas, but I will be using it quite often all the time, basically. Um, but yeah, it's a really good idea. So if you do give this as a Christmas gift and you want it to make it nice or cool and stuff, make sure you decorate the jar first before you put the stones in. But if you do wrap this up, you have to put the bag of stones separate with the jar so the stones don't go everywhere in the wrapping paper. So yeah. So let's get on with decorating the jar. So to decorate the jar, you need Christmas stickers. So these are the ones I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be putting the bell right in the middle. Now, I bought this jar from Ikea and I only paid $2. So it's a very good gift idea. Um, so yeah. To put the big bell, I would put it right in the middle. Next week, I'm going to be buying a mug and I'm going to show you how to um, do a Christmas gift idea with a mug as well. So, yeah, I'm going to show you that next week as well as the Christmas decorations for the tree. So, stay tuned for that, guys. It's like I just bought the jar with all these Christmas stickers, like, you know, with Christmas stickers. It looks so cool.
Okay, so there's the Christmas stickers on the jar, so you don't need any more. And now, um, these little cuties. So I'm going to take these off. And I've got an angel and an angel. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is dangling it there. And then I'm going to pop that oh, pop that there first. So there's my jar all decorated. I was going to use the blue, but I might use a little bit of blue for some decoration. But I'm not going to put too much because the stickers that are on the jar, it just looks much better. Like it looks really good. So I'm only going to put maybe just a little bit of blue but not much that's what I'm going to do actually I think that is perfect that is such a good decoration jar so yeah so now the last thing for this gift idea as I mentioned if you do want to give it to your family now decorate it and put the you can put the stones in and the glitter now and give it to them that is fine if you don't and you want to wrap it up for Christmas make sure you have the stones in a separate container and then wrap it up with the jar so it doesn't go all over your wrapping paper inside. So, yeah. so I'm basically going to be keeping it in the house. So this is just for myself. I'm not going to give it to anyone for Christmas or anything. Um, I made it for myself and I made it for you guys too. To, for a gift idea basically. Okay, so um, what I normally do is add the green stones first. So you just add green stones in first guys. As many as you like, I'm basically going to fill the whole jar up with the green stones. Then I'm going to add the full cup of glitter. And then you can use your pair of scissors or a spoon. I'm just going to stir it with a pair of scissors. And then I have some flowers. So I'm going to take the the um, stickers off the flowers. You can buy flowers from any um, any store basically. Um, I bought this from Ikea, so you can go to Ikea or any bargain stores and buy some plain flowers or you can buy some real flowers, it is up to you. Pop your flower in there. You can have one flower if you like, it is up to you. I'm gonna actually put more um, stones in there because I want it to stay, I don't want it to move. So I'm going to grab some more stones. So then you have a red and a white flower. Pop the flowers in like that. Just going to go and grab some more. Is it? And then you grab some crystal. So I'm just going to grab a little, a little bit of crystal. Just for like some decoration. And I'll be back in a moment.
No, I don't. I don't have any more. That's all right. I was going to get some more, you know, to fill it up a bit more, but I don't have any more stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's basically um, the jar. All decorate, all decorative. Um, as I mentioned, you can put more stones in if you like. I'm going to actually buy some more and fill it right up to the top and show you how it looks um, all filled in. But I don't have any more at the moment, so and I don't want to use all this because I need this for next week's um, art show. So yeah, so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Christmas gift ideas. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I do shows every week except Sundays. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to let you know when my shows are up. Don't forget to sub to my channel because I love you guys. Stick around, as I mentioned, there's new shows happening every single year. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, I have two projects happening in the next year. One I can't tell you, the second one I can. The second one is to do with my second book, but it's going in ebook form. And I'll let you know more info when it gets to that point when it comes out to purchase. And um, yeah, and the second one I can't tell you about, but it won't be out until uh, late November next year. So, yeah, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you take, um, if you do do these gift I gift ideas, don't forget to take some photos, send them on my Twitter, Instagram, and um, Facebook, so I can give you a shout out on those accounts. And um, yeah, I'd love to see your um, Christmas gift idea. Yeah, I would love to see it. Um, so yeah. Bye. Oh. I love you guys a lot. Thank you very much for all the support and the sweet comments. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to be just doing a, um, a vlog. As I mentioned on Fridays, I do do challenges of board games. But I haven't been well this week. So I'm going to leave it just and just do a vlog. So yeah. I love you guys a lot. Thank you very much for all the support. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.